Hey Nastia, how are you doing? Hi, I'm fine, thank you. Just, you know, <laughs> spending my time here in Kiev and happy about it. Well, I uh, thought I'd ask you a couple of questions about how things have been going on in lockdown and about the music industry and we'll just see where it goes. You did a DJ stream for Valentine's at the very start of lockdown. Uh, was that your first socially distanced rave and how did it feel? Actually, you're wrong because the Valentine's uh, stream I had for my birthday, uh, we're supposed to do a Strishka festival which moved on to, the July, to July and I didn't want to leave my friends and uh, followers alone and I decided to spend my birthday uh, streaming and playing music for them yeah. and yeah. it was like five hours, uh, three steps um, set and uh, Valentine's was the big help for me to make it happen otherwise uh, I, I could never afford the expenses I spent on the production and cameras and and uh, visuals everything so yeah uh, I think it was a big gift for me on my birthday to have an opportunity and share this day with my friends and uh, followers. In your career you've stayed true to making and playing the music that you like and love instead of following short-lived trends like EDM. Uh, how important is it that a sense of staying true uh, and not being swayed by kind of external forces? For me it's not uh, about how important is that. It's the only way not to lie to yourself and not to lie to the people who listen to you, who come to you, to your party and respect you. As soon as you start pretending or lying to your audience, uh, they will feel it and they will leave you and it, it's it's the, just the way nowhere, you know. Uh, staying true is means um, being honest and being real, being uh, you, the way you want to be and not like uh, the way success will happen to you or it's it doesn't make sense if you're a good DJ and then you play something that just pump up uh, like AD music. Uh, I cannot imagine myself playing that sound. It's yeah, just me, yeah. so me, cheesy yeah. and um, so you know. It's not. Uh, it's not me. Stay yourself and play what you feel, what you believe in. It's it's a uh, easy formula. You know, you don't need to be someone uh, to understand what you like, what you don't like. As soon as you play what you like, you send in the proper, the pure energy, and people feel it, and then they respect it uh, and they they support you because. They they see it, they, it is you, and that's it. It's the only way for me. Um, so during lockdown, you've been giving away your vinyl to your, your fans every week. And not just like the odd test press, but some really valuable records as well. What was the concept behind that? And uh, do you, is there anything that you regret specifically giving away to some of your followers and fans? Actually, it's my favorite part of the whole lockdown. Uh, the thing is, the story is that I was uh, having a lot of time and I decided like, okay, finally I have time to sort out my record collection and I wanted to listen everything I have and I started and I was doing it for one and a half months, slowly, step by step, but uh, during the listening and uh, sorting out, I uh, realized that I want to uh, give away more like more than a half of my collection because you know there's a lot of uh, good records but um, I don't feel like um, playing them anymore you know I grow from this music and it's time to give this music to someone else who will get inspired and maybe do something nice with it and uh, I have lots of uh, records like that and I didn't want to sell it. Yeah. I, I didn't want to imagine that I could go to the post and send it by, you know, like sell it on Discogs. It's also a lot of time and stuff like that. And the best for me always been giving than having. So I decided to once a week give a present for free to my fans, to to my to my followers, and uh, the e very easy rules just to command a post, and then I choose randomly the one I like, and I just send it by post with a big pleasure that finally, like I, if I'm not playing for the people this time, I, at least I can give them something that will be valuable and uh, give them, the, cheer them up, you know, give them something nice and good and. Uh, I still have the record which uh, Sven Fed gave me in 2010 when he was uh, first time at Kazanti festival. I came to him while he was playing and asked uh, if he can uh, give me some record as a present. And he gave me one record and I still have it. And every time I look at it and I remember this moment. And I think it's very cool to give something to your to the people who follow you and who likes you and who support you all the way. 
what advice can you give uh, to people on rebuilding after lockdown? I think the, the, always the best choice is not to look back. I think it's very important to look forward and not to think what you could have or what could happen if not this. But uh, think about the future and what you want, where you want to be and who you want to become. Uh, looking forward is the only way to um, have this um, opportunity to step in uh, and start the new page and um, be yourself and build your um, opportunities around. So never look back and look only forward. This, was how, this will help you um, to not to, how to say, um, hold on with the problems you might have uh, during the lockdown. You need to move on. And which scenes have you been inspired by the most or are most excited about? Um, let me tell you what I feel um, for the last 10 years, because last 10 years is a very important um, part of our scene where everything was growing. And I think that uh, number one, uh, scene is Romanian. Since the 2010 it was exploding all around the world and I always been wondering how strong is the support from the local people from Romania. So for Romanians there was no better DJ than their own local artists such as RPR and uh, I've never seen that uh, huge support of the local people to the local artists and i think this is the key of success of any kind of a scene and I, I, i've been like jealous like in a good way jealous like i was dreaming that we could have it in ukraine too and then the next uh, scene uh, uh, the, ne the next one it happened in 2013 and 14 when we had the revolution in Ukraine and many uh, people lost their jobs and uh, good guys, they started to do their own parties. And now I can give you numbers of amazing promoters in Ukraine and what, wonder, what wonders me and um, uh, surprised me again is that the local scene, the resident DJs are way stronger than um, international artists. For example, if you have few parties at the same time in the same day in uh, Kiev, uh, no doubt the party with the local DJs will have more people, more audience, uh, it will be a more successful party than with international guests. And I think you need to have a strong uh, heart of the scene and then everything will be good around. Well, Nastya, it's been absolutely amazing talking to you. Uh, and thank you for giving us a little insight into your lockdown. See you at a club or festival in the near future. Thank you very much and have a nice uh, lockdown. It's still not finished. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's go in a positive way and uh, wait for your uh, time to get out uh, from this and uh, finally uh, reconnect with your friends and uh, people around and have a good party as well.